WhatsApp. If you're playing on Steam, latest DPD update just deleted all your configs. And now you got low FPS. Or maybe you're just new player and want to unlock FPS and optimize your graphics to just enjoy the game. You're in the right place. In this video, I will explain how in few simple steps you can make Dead by Daylight run smoothly with high FPS and best graphics possible. And of course, it's for Steam and Epic PC players. So let's go. First of all, I guess you already know that inside Dead by Daylight there is limited options in graphic optimization. In fact, there's only two that just changes overall graphics and second can change render quality. So first step, you need to explore every parameters that you can, like visual terror radius, controller speed, hard scaling, etc. and make them however you like, and then close the game. I will leave gameplay in the background, but keep in mind, all next steps done with client closed. So second step, you need to navigate into system folder of the game. First of all, go to app data folder. It should be invisible by default, but you can make it visible in properties or just uh, press Windows plus R and enter this line. You will be in app data roaming. Step back and navigate through paths uh, that is on the screen. Steam and Epic Game got different final folders, so keep that in mind. When you are in the folder, there are two files that you can edit to have better quality graphics and better gameplay. One of them is engine, so just open it in notepad and add these lines to the end of the file. This will make game respond more quickly and smoothly to your actions. I got all the lines in the video description and if you don't want to do it by hands, just download my files from Google Drive. Now make sure that this file is in a read-only state right now. Right click on it, press properties and then check the box near read-only. If you forget to do it, game can overwrite this file and you need to do this one more time. Now let's go to the most important file where we can unlock FPS. Game user setting. First step is to open it in notepad. Now you'll see a lot of settings and these settings from your game. That's why it is very important to adjust everything you can while you're in game. So let's adjust graphics first. We got first group scalability groups. This is settings that I use. All you need to know that most of them go from 0 to 4, whereas 0 means low, 1 is normal, 2 is high, 3 is ultra, and 4 is the ultra epic HD 10K. So if you have high end PC, just leave them at 4. If you have potato instead, drop everything to 0. And if you want crisp, good looking graphics while not setting your PC on fire, adjust them manually. Resolution quality is rendering quality. I recommend leaving it on 100, because less values just look awful. View distance. If possible, leave it on 4. Lower values will increase FPS if your PC can't handle higher numbers. Anti-aliasing. I like it around 1 or 2. Lower values make higher look like Tetris. Shadow quality. I play with 4, because higher quality shadows not only look greater, but also help see better when someone approaching you near the corner. Post-processing quality, not making actually big difference, leave it on zero. Texture quality, set it as high as your GPU can handle. With recording I like it on two, but if I wouldn't make content, four is better of course. Effects quality, there is not too much effect, so just drop it to zero. Same with, with footage and shading. Animation quality, I don't know what is this stands for actually, but I keep it on three. Now save changes that you made and go to the next step. So when you do these changes, game already should look nice, but we need one last tweak to unlock our FPS. First of all, check your resolution. There should be six lines total, adjust them manually to match your monitor resolution. Then turn off V-Sync. It stands for vertical synchronization and it hard locks frame rate. To do so, change line B use V-Sync true into false. And last step. There are two lines, at least in my file. One line called frame rate limit, other FPS limit. Change output number to your monitor refresh rate or just leave it on preferred FPS. Even if you have a 60 Hz monitor, 120 FPS will look nicer. Then save it, close and don't forget to check read-only box. Enter the game and enjoy Dead by Daylight how you never enjoyed it. But still, now your game runs nice, but looks like this, dark and you can't see anything? I got solution for this too. In this video on the screen right now you can see how to make your game look great, bright and shiny and enjoyable. 
and if you don't see it, it should be done soon, so subscribe or you'll miss it.